This is the Heidelberger All-State Insurance Agency pregame show. I'm standing here in Race Goma Stadium with Coach Eric Moore before they head up to the northwest side to take on the Pike Red Devils. Coach, when you think about Pike, they're, they're averaging nearly 32 points a game. Uh, their coach, Coach Etch, is kind of known for trickery. He'll do a lot of onside kicks or has been known to. He'll do go for two and you wouldn't think. Uh, a lot of trick plays. So what's your mindset as, as you go into a game like this? Well, first off, you can't you can't think about that and let yourself become uh, non-aggressive. We, we're an aggressive defense, and if something happens because we're being aggressive, I would I'd rather deal with that than I would just setting back and letting people run over us and protecting ourselves from a uh, trick play. Uh, they get it, they get it. You know that's part of life. But we're going to make sure whatever they get, they pay for. We're going to make sure that every inch and every uh, you know every, every every inch on the on for offense they have, we're going to try to make contact and make it a physical game. Uh, they're going to make some plays. They got unbelievable uh, offensive athletes. They have a great defense, but their offensive athletes are the best we've seen this year. They have a great running back. Their splits are big, tall, and fast. And it's going to be a problem. But it's high school football, and we'll figure it out. They're three and three. Easily could be four and two. They lost a, a hard fault game against Carmel in overtime, 45-44. Last year, a lot of people might not remember this, it was a game here held at Race Gilman Stadium. We had to make some big plays there at the end, a big pass play to put us in a position where Austin Watson was able to get a, a winning field goal for us. Um, this is a game, you throw the record out, they're, they're, they're pretty powerful. Yeah, they're legit, I and mean, this is the kind of team that could win some games in the playoffs. It, it, and I've said this on, on shows like this all the time, they're always one play away from tying you or beating you because of the great skill kids they got. That's why you got to go out there and you got to run the football, throw the football, do whatever you can on offense to score points and get ahead of them and stay ahead of them. You know, you just you don't try to play behind uh, from behind against a team like this. Uh, their skill kids will, uh, you know, will get you in. The and they're also those kind of teams where the more they stay in the game with you, the more excited they get, the more important the game is to them, they even get better. I think they go from a level here to a level here. Uh, so you you gotta you gotta be physical. Now the thing about that we have going for us is we're a very physical defense. We're a very physical offense. That takes a lot out of your opponents when they don't see that on a weekly basis. So I'm hoping that uh, they, they they ran into a physical matchup last week, and then we're going to be a physical matchup this week, and then maybe we can take our toll. It's going to be as you like to talk about the weather. It's probably going to be a little bit cooler and maybe windy, and we've not dealt with that. But neither they have they. So uh, we're hoping it rolls right into our all weather offense. CG Sports Network will not be doing the game tonight. It will be on, I believe, ISC Sports Network. Check Twitter, check our website for all the links that, that you can find the game if you cannot make it. Also, something that's new, there's going to be a watch party, a celebration at the Center Grove Bantam Football League the night before their championships will take place on Saturday morning. Uh, it can't be held here at Race Gilman because of COVID, so it's going to be held at the Bantam Field tonight. They're going to have a celebration, uh, and, and you can watch the game, five bucks per kid or per person, $10 a family. Get over there. They'll have food trucks. That's going to be kind of a neat event for, for a lot of the people in our community. The, the, the future Trojans, if you will, will be over at their place watching us play tonight. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of watch parties. You'd like to be able to take part with them and, and tell them thanks for gathering everybody to watch us, but obviously you know, we're already down the road and at the venue ready to play. But uh, good luck to everybody that's involved in that. What a great thing to do. Bring your family out, get together, watch some big screen TV, watch the Trojans on big screen, uh, going over and playing Pike. Physicality is the name of the game tonight. Coach, we wish you all the luck. Let's uh, continue that undefeated streak. And if we get this one, there's one more game and we could be with Mick champions. Hey, it's hard to do in this conference. It's hard to do in high school football to win five games, win six games in a row like we have. We got to concentrate, keep our, you know, our heads up. And, and, and when things happen, react to them. Again, we got to be more physical than we've ever been and uh, play fast and play hard and be great on special teams. But you know what? These kids, uh, they love each other. They're committed to each other. They've had a good year. Why stop now? Go Trojans.